love the channel and find it useful in becoming a happy retiree. Subscribe today. Good morning. Welcome back to Money Matters here on a Sunday morning talking about arguably the most important retirement variable that it gets thrown around. How much money can you take from your investments in any given year? The 4% rule, an industry standard in question in the Wall Street Journal recently. Uh, title of the article, Forget the 4% Rule, Rethinking Common Retirement Beliefs. Uh, there's a lot wrong with the article, and I want to get to that here today as we revisit the original study that said from William Bengen, a, 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 a MIT graduate, aeronautical engineering, turned financial planner, very smart guy, obviously, that did it, that did historical calculations to say, hey, how much on average can you take from your investment portfolio plus inflation and never run out or probably not run out over the course of your life expectancy? And so much has been, has hinged now upon that study and, and it's constantly questioned, though. So you, you've heard about this rule. I described it earlier in the show. The rule is constantly chided. So during the 08 financial crisis, stocks were down significantly. Academics and, and anyone in the industry, many people in the industry said, hey, no, you got to reduce the 4% rule to two and a half. Uh, and then as markets came back and we've had a bull market, that died down. Then today, with interest rates low, 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 and they're headed higher, so bonds aren't acting all that great today and over the last couple of weeks, there's another question. Hey, does the 4% rule still work? Or does that mean you're taking too much from your portfolio and then you run out of money too soon before the end, end, end of retirement? So you hear this, the, the rules chided. Oh, no, ratchet it down to 3%. Ratchet it down to 2% for your 50-year retirement career. So we recreated that this week in the office. So with the help of Robert Sanders, our chief investment officer who helps me with these projects, we recreated Bengen's work to bring, because it was published in 1994, I wanted to, it's been a long time, I wanted to bring it into modern times. Uh, again, he published in 94, over 20 years ago. So we re-upped the study to include the 2000, 2002 debacle, the 08 and 09 drumming of markets. Uh, when, when we, then, we, then we even lowered the assumptions that he used for stock returns and bond returns into the future because obviously we can use what we have up to 2018 or 2017, but we've got to some, use some sort of modest or moderate number moving forward to, and, and that's exactly what Bengen did as well. He had to use so, some of his data was average rates of return for stocks and bonds relative to actual historical numbers. So we, we, we use what I would consider very modest assumptions for those uh, to see how much money lasts over a long, long period of time if you retired in 2000. For so many years, I've talked about the 5% rule, or really it's the it's called the thousand bucks a month rule, which is for every $240,000 you, you have saved. You can think about that as a long-term pension of about a thousand bucks a month. And the way the math works is 240,000 times 5% is 12,000 a year divided by 12 months, thousand bucks a month. And it doesn't mean that you can start out day one taking 5% and take that forever. It means that that's a rule of thumb to as you're accumulating to try to understand what all the accumulation really means. Hey, for every almost quarter of a million dollars I save, it'll be around a thousand bucks a month on average over time in retirement. When you start out, particularly if you're an early retiree, you want your withdrawal rate as low as possible. Uh, it, you want it in the three and a half, four, four and a half percent range, and over time it can it can go higher. So if you're eighty in your eighties, your rate of withdrawal can be higher than that. It can be six percent, five and a half, six, six and a half. So the average over time that the five percent rule uses is a five percent rate of withdrawal over time. But it also, but but there's something very important about this, and we're going to talk about this coming up at the at the bottom of the half hour has to do with whether you use inflation every year to ratchet it higher or not. And, and my opinion on this, and this is after 20 years being in, in the investment planning business, and arguably we've been in a relatively low inflationary period, 
in f- the, the way we spend money as we as we age, we peak in our mid fo- from forty five to fifty five, and that makes sense because obviously we've got kids in college, and and those kids have cars and they have cell phones and they have car insurance and they have tuition and they have room and they have board and they eat a lot, and then. As kids graduate and move on and become adults and get, become financially independent, they start or your spending starts to drop and it drops and it drops from decade to decade and, day, and decade. So we actually have a deflationary spending pattern over time. Yes, inflation may be prevalent and we might see prices go up over time, but your spending as an American consumer actually comes down over time and that offsets your deflationary spending offsets what we get with inflation in the economy. And that's a really important component of this of this quandary. Hey, how much can I take? So 4% with inflation, that's been proven out over time to be uh, a, your money lasts for at least 35 years, in most cases 50 plus. In the scenario that I'm talking about, 5% without inflating it higher every year also works. The, the 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 rule that we're talking about today, this 4% rule, rethinking common retirement beliefs, this Wall Street Journal article that, that has gotten everyone riled up and the most important number when it comes to financial planning has to do with how much money can we use from our investments? Is it four? Is it five? With inflation, without inflation? And, and then we go back to the industry standard uh, from William Bengen who invented or, or propagated the 4% rule back in the early 90s. Uh, we brought some of that research up to date and I want to get to that here uh, on, in this half hour of the show and talk about what kind of rate of withdrawal you can use safely over time as an investor and some, and some ideas around that. Hi, I'm Wes Moss, and thanks for taking a minute to hear about what's so different about my new book, You can retire sooner than you think. So unlike other retirement books, this book will give you a step-by-step guide, whether in your 20s or 30s or 40s or 50s, to learn from what these successful and happy retirees did to get there. I hope you enjoy the book, but more importantly, I know that it'll help you retire sooner than you think.